Chris Hemsworth stars in a new action movie, 12 Strong. We're rolling film right now. Hey guys, what's up? It's Russell here at House Hollywood Reviews. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button, that little bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. You can notify anytime I drop a new movie review, trailer review, anything new. You guys will get notified, so go ahead and do that. And also, don't forget to comment and like after the video. Today, I'm reviewing 12 Strong. Uh, the movie is rated R with a runtime of 2 hours and 10 minutes. It stars Chris Hemsworth, Michael Shannon, Michael Pena, and Navid Negaban, and it is directed by Nikolai Fugelsig. This movie takes place right after the terrorist attacks on at 9-11, and basically Chris Hemsworth kind of has already uh, transitioned out of the armed forces and gone into be, uh, a desk job. And right after the attacks, he actually wants to come back in and lead a squad of guys to go back into the Middle East and fight back against the terrorists. Well... This tells the story of the first troops that were sent out and basically to launch a counter-strike against um, terrorist organizations. Um, and the goal was to wipe out Al-Qaeda and uh, wipe them out of Afghanistan. And the catch is they only have three weeks to do this. And on top of it, the soldiers have to ride horses because there's a lot of mountainous terrains in the Middle East. And a lot of the uh, places that they need to go have to be traveled on by horse. Chris Hemsworth character has no war experience. Um, he is coming into this as fresh as anybody, pretty much, because he has no war experience. Um, and he decides to lead his men into uh, the Middle East to uh, fight the terrorists. Overall, I enjoyed the film. Um, it wasn't the, the best war movie that I've seen, but we haven't seen a whole lot of movies that have been focused on the 9-11 uh, and Iraq Middle Eastern uh, war. A lot of the movies that come out usually deal with the World War, Vietnam, World War II, and stuff like that. I really appreciated the fact that Chris Hemsworth stepped, up, stepped out of the comfort zone of the Marvel character, Thor, and really got uh, serious uh, for this role in 12 Strong. Um, overall, it felt kind of like a Michael Bay type movie. I believe that 13th Hour, the Benghazi movie, kind of had that vibe to it, only it was a lot shorter. Um, everybody played a pretty good role. I, I enjoyed Michael Shannon as always. He always commands your attention when he's on the screen and he always puts in a great performance. Um, overall, this movie really makes you appreciate what the men and women go through, um, to bring, you know, to bring us freedom every day. And it, you definitely walk out of that movie with a better appreciation, uh, to what exactly these guys did and the recognition that they don't get that you don't hear a whole lot of. So it was good to get that story. And I think everybody portrayed this role and portrayed this uh, battle, I thought it was uh, fantastic. And I really uh, commend the men and women that are in the armed forces. Overall, I gave this movie three and a half stars. While I did enjoy the film and I did enjoy the... Um, the patriotism and everything that, that went with it. It wasn't the best war film that I have seen. I did enjoy it. I really did like Chris Hemsworth's performance. It was nice to see him act in a more serious role. Michael Shannon always is great. And Michael Pena was really good in this too. And Navid Nagaban uh, was also in this film. And he plays a guy who actually is trying to fight his own people because he wants he doesn't want this violence anymore and he is kind of helping the Americans out so they kind of work together and have this friendship or bond pretty much throughout the whole entire film which is really nice to see because the Americans really didn't know going into it whether or not they were going to have allies or everybody was going to be enemies and these guys really helped them out too so it was kind of nice to see that and at the end of the film you walk away with a great sense of you know patriotism and you really just commend everybody who puts their life on the line every day for our freedoms. But more importantly, have you guys seen 12 Strong? Did you guys enjoy the film? Go ahead and sound off there in the comments. What is your favorite war film of all time? Go ahead and sound off there in the comments. Uh, and join me next time at House Hollywood Reviews when I bring you the new film, Phantom Thread, starring Daniel Day-Lewis. And until then, we'll see you guys in Hollywood.